guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a super cute um, DIY from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you what you're going to need. What you're going to need, this is what I'm actually going to make. I made this one earlier um, so the video wouldn't be too long, but this is what we're actually going to make. Okay, so what you need is you need two of these vases from the Dollar Tree and then you need a dowel. Now I bought my dowel at Walmart because our Dollar Tree didn't have any and the dowel that I purchased, um, each one of them were 36 inches long and I had my husband cut them and he cut 20, a total of 20, 10 for each project, uh, 4 and a fourth inches long and then he cut 25 and 5 eighths inches long and really the length is going to depend on what you want how far you want it to come up your candle and then you're going to need some uh, folk art multi-surface paint and mine is the coffee latte right there that's the color that I picked and then you're going to need um, two candles and then you're going to need uh, one of these uh, little Volta candle holders from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, but I only needed one. And I thought about taking jute and putting it either around the bottom. Um, I don't think I would really put it around the top, but maybe around the bottom. Um, I haven't done that yet. I may do that. I haven't made up my mind yet. So let's get started. The reason that I decided that, and I'm going to use this to prop up my um, vase so it doesn't roll. Um, and this, and then I had him make me a spacer right here because I wanted it even around, all around uh, my vase, my in between my uh, dowels. Um, but the reason I decided, um, so I'm just going to put glue right on each end of my little um Dowel, and I'm going to put it right here at the bottom and come up and then I'm going to use my spacer so they'll be straight and the even definitely even I want it to be even in the width and uh, but the reason that I decided that I wanted to make something like this is because um we're getting ready to bring out our um, patio furniture in the next couple weeks. And then you just remove your spacer like that. And um, I was sort of, I was wanting something a little different than what I had out there before. Uh, on my table before I had like a, um, I bought it at Target. It was a little um, lantern and it was wicker. Um, and it sat in the middle of the table and I really do like it. It has a handle on it and I think I may hang it um, inside the screened in porch but I don't really want it in the center of the table. I'm kind of tired of that. So um, I thought hey I'll just get some of that and I'll make um, I'll make me one of uh, these little candle holders and then it'll look really cute. I didn't really want it to look beachy um, but I wanted it to look like it belonged outdoors and somewhere where you know it does it is sort of beachy but not the seashell um, beachy kind. I mean I like seashells and everything. Um, I did a project like that one time for my bathroom with a, a vase like this and it turned out really well. Um, but what you can do is you can also take um, pearls and embellish um, these little sticks with pearls at different heights or maybe different colors of pearls. Or you could even take, um, if you wanted the seashell look, you could take tiny seashells and... Um, do that and that would be really super cute I think but I'm just sorta of, sorta of tired of the seashells right now but they are pretty 
And then once, um, then this is what you get so far. And once you put enough of these around, it won't roll as bad because the, the dowels help hold it. So that's good. But it's really kind of cloudy here today. And, uh, I think I may be coming down with something. I don't quite feel like myself. Hope not. But I feel like something's going on that is not quite right. <laughs> But I just think this is going to be super, super cute. And you just keep going around like this all the way around. And you really could even, I thought about doing this too, is getting you a smaller, um, like a little um, round, container from the Dollar Tree and just wrapping it with jute and setting it beside these. I think that would be really cute. Um, I really think it would be cute. But I'm going to stop the camera for a little bit so you don't have to watch me go all the way around and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I have this finished and I took it all the way around. And I think it turned out super, super cute. I really do love it. Now I'm going to put this on the bottom, glue it on the bottom. That way um, it'll be just a little bit taller than the other one. So I'm going to get my hot glue out and just put it on the bottom of this. Turn this upside down. Try to get this in the center as best I can. And then just press down. It holds pretty quick. And then here you have it. I have two super, super cute little um, candle holders. Let me put the candle in this one. And like I said earlier, you could put jute around the bottom. I don't know that I will today, or even if I will. Um, but you could do that, and it would be adorable. I really think it would be cute. It would add, uh, I think, a little bit more sass to it. But um, here's what they look like finished. And I just think they turned out super cute. I love them. I think they're going to be absolutely adorable on my uh, table outside. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.